Good day, everyone. Tis I, the Blue Baron, defender of traditionalism. For tis traditio monarchia! Today we're doing something a little different. I've got a, a trailer for the third season, and apparently the final season, of The Lion Guard in my YouTube feed, so I thought we'd look at that, as well as a new clip from it. Honestly, I've followed The Lion Guard closely, and um, it's actually pretty much in the spirit of the original movie. Pretty much. There was a couple things they got wrong. I mean, well, actually, the main thing, I think, they did get the canon wrong at one point when uh, when they did that Outlands episode with, uh, with uh, what's her name? Zira. Uh, they should have already been living at the termite mound area, but they weren't. I mean, I guess it's possible, that, because cause we see, it's mentioned there that the meeting with Kovu, between, between Kiara and Kovu, had already happened. But the thing is, we see that happen in The Lion King 2, and right after they go back home, which is the termite area already, so they should have already been living there. Unless, I guess it's possible that they lived there for a bit, then they went to the Outlands, as we see here, and then they got banished back to the termite area. I guess that's possible, but it's a lot more convoluted that way. But anyway, let's take a look. The roar is a very powerful gift. It can be used for great good, but it can also lead to terrible evil. Well, I'd never be like Scar. Didn't we already go through that plot line, kind of? I mean, we had a, a plot about that already in the show. Didn't we already resolve that? Ever. As the Lion God battles to save the Pride Lands. Kyle, and the Lion God are Whoa, growing up. hello, handsome. Their oh, efforts. My goodness. Alright, I'm not going to lie, I am loving this new look for Kion. That is extremely attractive. And Fooly looks taller. He looks he definitely looks taller, which mean Fu which means Fooly is taller as well. Uh Ono is seems taller as well. Before I think he was shorter than Banga. Now he's the same size. And he's got got these uh, little thingamajiggies, uh, uh, oh, whiskers, sorry, <laughs> had a brain part there, whiskers, nice, very nice, very nice indeed, yes, to defeat Scar, come with a price, <gasps> oh no, <laughs> Have a scar just like me. Deception, disgrace, evil as plain as the scar on his face. Sing it with me, folks. <laughs> Remember that from the Lion King too. Yeah. Now the Lion God must make an epic journey nice. to the legendary okay. Tree of Life. So Kaya. Say, isn't that Rain? Yes, that's Rainy. That's uh, the that's the girl Linus that uh, people have been shipping Kion with before she even appeared on the show, <laughs> just from concept art. Actually, I I featured her in my video, sort of a joke video. Kion can find the healing he needs before it's too late. I'm not evil. Oh, ho, ho. I love this new voice. That is just... I don't like to use the word hot, but that kind of describes it. <laughs> Maybe I am. The Lion Guard, Season 3.
well. This is looking extremely promising, actually. I, I like this so far. I really like it. My goodness. I really hope we get some closure on on the, on the shipping, though. I'll say they're growing. Kion and the Lion Guard are growing up. All right, they're growing up, but that means Kion needs some romantic, uh, romantic, some romantic closure. Come on, come on, come on. All right, let's uh, watch the next one. Told you how I got my scar? No, no, you haven't. I wasn't much older than Kion when it happened. Back when I was leader of my Lion Guard. When I was the Lion Guard's fiercest, I took most patrols on my own. So when I met this strange lion, I had no fear of being alone. Mm -hmm. He comes out of nowhere. We've never heard of this strange lion before. But he definitely looks creepy, I'll give him that. This song, honestly, is not that good. The songs on the, the Lion Guard have been kind of hit and miss. So you had some, you have had some great ones, like the one in the Ambali Fields migration. That felt like, I mean, that brought back Circle of Life flashbacks for me. That's how good that was. And whenever Fully sings, oh, the, that is amazing. And Jasiri as well, amazing. But uh, there was uh, this one. Uh, there are others that miss, like this one and. When Bunga sang Hero Inside, yeah. sorry, not Bunga, uh, Beshti, when he sang Hero Inside, Hero Inside, I just didn't really feel that one. Like I said, hit and miss. But most of them, I mean, most of them are pretty good. Some are great. Some are just sort of miss. But most of them are good. He said he had wisdom and power, and the most powerful should be king. Well, no, 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 that's not really how it works. Well, it kind of is. It's not that we define uh, the most... Wait. No, 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 no. The most powerful already is king, because whoever is king has the most authority. That is true power. Authority. The divine right to rule. And it is something you are born with. And we have a lot of respect for that here at Blue Baron Productions. With help from me and my roar, he and I could rule everything. I found his idea intriguing, though the most powerful lion was me. No. You said in The Lion King uh, that that um, that you said so yourself that while you were cunning the the let's see when it came to brute strength or something you ended up in the shallow end of the gene pool something like that I forget I'm paraphrasing of course but that's the gist of the line and I, since I know we are talking about power here as in raw power like strength and all that that's clearly not the case for you but the strange lion was scheming and had a friend I didn't see. That's how I got my scar. You, you, you got your scar from a fight with a water buffalo. And then you named yourself after it. Doesn't Disney read their own material? It's Copa all over again, isn't it? Except the... Except that was just a one-off sequel comic, whereas everyone knows the Lion King prequels. Well, not everyone, but all the really big Lion King fans know it, and... You can't just change these things, Disney. People don't like it. It's, it's rather sad when your fans know more about your canon than you do. Hmm. Well, 
that's an interesting little thing there. But uh, hmm, I'm a little less optimistic, that, uh, that, not optimistic, but a little less excited than I was before. But I'm still going to remain hopeful. For now, I reserve judgment, as Simba said. You never know. Maybe it makes more sense in context. Maybe that's just a lie he's telling. I wouldn't put it past him, so maybe they haven't forgotten the canon after all. It's... You never know. These, these things can work still. Well, I guess that's it for now. Yes. Well, uh, until next time, I'm the Blue Baron, defender of traditionalism. God bless you all, and remember, if it is Traditio Monarchia! Note how I did the dagger instead of my sword, since it's a shorter video. Oh, I really do want closure on uh, romantic closure for Kion. Seriously, he's been shipped with uh, he's been ship teased with Fuli and Jasiri on the show. He's been ship teased with uh, Tifu and Zuri in the comics, or at least one of them. And now Rainy, people are shipping him with her. Uh, my goodness, and and the writers know this because I mean. They, it, he's had a bunch of moments with Fuli, and Jasiri, if anything, they're promoting that even more. I mean, their first ep appearance together, they're, they were flirting constantly. Uh, then then uh, when Janja sang that song, The Worst Hyena We Know, in it appeared... Well, Kayan and Jasiri were appearing in that sequence, and they were dancing under a heart-shaped pink spotlight. I mean, there is no way that the, right, the writers and animators did not know what they were doing there. They were making a conscious effort to promote that. <laughs> and on top of all that, uh, Jasiri pinned him in one of her appearances. Uh, yeah, it, uh, to, now, on its own, that doesn't sound very significant, but you have to remember, this is the Lion King universe. You have to remember what the the connotations of that are. Remember, right back to the start, uh, the original The Lion King, uh, Nala and Simba's thing was her pinning him. It's what they she it's what they did as cubs. She pinned him, and that's how he remembered her when they met up again. He recognized her after she pinned him. That's their couple thing. So they're clearly making an homage to that with Kyan and Jasiri. Honestly, I think the writers are pushing that more than anything else. But they're also pushing fully, and a little bit of Tipu and Zuri in the comics, maybe. Anyway, look, I reserve judgment on which one, but I want some kind of closure. But again, as for now, with this as with other things, I reserve judgment.